Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Okay, okay. Let me try this. Um, oh. Hello, creatives. Welcome back to my channel. I'm the Moss Creative. And today I'm going to be trying something really new. I have not tried this before, but I've seen it a lot on Instagram, on Pinterest. So I thought I should give it a go. So I've been feeling really fruity lately and I don't know why. It could be because of the changing weather. Not sure. But um, yeah, so I've been craving fruits a lot. I thought, why not paint fruits? But it's not going to be like a still life um, painting on canvas sort of thing because I found some old CDs and these are just random CDs and um, just looking at the colors gave me an idea. So I'm going to be painting my favorite fruits on these CDs. So let's get to it. I have three old random CDs from my art box. I didn't want to paint on them straight away, so I've scrubbed off the paint and turned them into clear circles. For painting, I'll be using acrylic paints and a paintbrush, but I've also got a sponge roller here and I'm using it to paint on a white base coat on all three CDs. Here's a bit of info about me, I love fruits and I can pretty much eat fruits all day long. Which is why I wanted to turn my three favourite fruits into hashtag CD art. So, the white base coat is now dry and in order to create a watermelon, which is one of my favourite fruits, I'm painting the first CD using red acrylic paint. To start with, I'm using a flat brush to paint the CD and then rolling the sponge over it. Honestly, I'm loving the texture it's creating. Up close, it does give a fruity sort of texture because it's not coming on so smooth. I'm following the same process for the kiwi fruit, using green and white paint to get the right colour. But I've also added a bit of yellow to create highlights in the middle. Again, I'm going over it with a sponge and making sure that the yellow and white is blended properly. Same goes for the third CD where I'm using yellow and red paints to create a nice shade of orange. Then I'm going to go over it with the sponge roller. Now, an important thing to remember is to wash the sponge after every CD just so for the next one you have a clean sponge. Oh, this is so exciting. So far, so good. The second layer is all dry now and it's time to add the details. For the watermelon CD, I'm painting the edge using green paint to signify the watermelon skin. Make sure it's not a thick outline. Then, using white, I'm painting another thin layer just on the inside of the green. Okay. 
And to finish off, I'm adding black seeds facing inwards with a size 0 paintbrush. And voila! It's looking so cool. Now, it's time to paint the orange. For this, I'm starting with a thin white circle, just a centimeter from the edge of the CD. Then, I'm dividing the circle into six or seven parts from the inside edge of the circle. I want the CD to look like an orange slice, so now I'm adding highlights using white paint to create that effect. And the CD is also complete. Moving on to our last fruit CD, the kiwi fruit. This is also going to be very simple. So a technique that I'm using to add details to the CD is dry brushing. I've dipped my round paintbrush into white paint and rubbed most of it off on a cloth. Then I'm gently dabbing the center circle of the CD to create the inner layer of a kiwi fruit. Following this, I'm painting white lines going outwards to add highlights. And now I'm painting a very thin brown outline to signify the fruit skin. Lastly, I'm using a black sharpie to add small black seeds just towards the inside layer of the kiwi fruit. And we're finally done! So, guys, I actually can't believe that I painted these. Just look at them! They're so nice, they're so cute! And I actually love them so much. They look so realistic. And I feel like every time I'm going to be looking at them, I'm just going to be craving even more fruits. But I'm so happy with how these turned out. I hope you liked today's video and do give it a try if you've got some old CDs at home. And follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. And I'll see you next time. Bye!